Hey guys, Valorant Tech 3 is here and today we also have got the Mumbai servers in India, which is great news for all of us. But still many of us are facing the FPS drops in game. In this video I am going to give you some simple steps with the help of which you can fix the FPS drops in Valorant after the latest October 2020 update. So let's begin. So for step 1 after you have downloaded this game, when you install the game, you must install the game in your SSD drive. And if you do not have an SSD drive, make sure to install the game in that HDD drive which has got higher space. So let's move on to the next step and go to the setting tab after that you have to go to this video and in this uh, going to general you need to just keep this like this uh, so if you have a very low end PC keep it windowed if you have a decent PC you can keep it full screen or windowed full screen it really doesn't make much difference keep all these things off you can keep this limit FPS on battery you can keep it off nobody plays on laptop without power so you can keep it off uh, rest all these things you can keep it on it doesn't really matter limit fps always keep it off and then go to the graphic quality uh, if you want more frames you have to keep all these things low so just keep all these things low multi-thread rendering you can you can keep it on doesn't really matter v synchronization has to be kept off anti-aliasing if you do not have a high-end pc keep it none if you have a decent pc you can go to 2x 4x so if you don't have a good pc just keep it none anti uh, and isotropic filtering you can keep it you should keep it 1x improved clarity you can keep it on experimental sharpening you don't need to keep it off all these things all the remaining things you keep it off close the settings and restart your pc restart the game you will see an instant rise in fps so let's move on to the third step so for the third step you have to use some valorant port forwarding ports i'm going to show you how you can do that so just open google and type your valorant port and then you need to open this first link and you'll be getting this if you scroll down you can see at uh, the bottom TCP and UD ports for the Valorant PC, you have to use these ports now. I'm going to show how you can do that. Go to search and type here Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. So you have to open this, just click on this and then you need to click on Inbound Rules. Then click on New Rules. After that since you have to add some ports, so just uh, click on Port, click on Next and now we will be first adding the TCP ports as you can see it's TCP. So just copy these TCP ports and uh, paste it here click next allow the connection next click all the same click next now you can give it anything and say i give a VAL, VAL that is valorant click finish so i have added the tcp ports now i have to add the udp ports windows defender okay this is it so now click on inbound rules click on new rules click on port next then click on udp after that you copy this udp ports from here and paste it here next allow the connection okay now we'll change the name we'll keep it here VAL uh, say VAL dot click finish done then you have to just restart your game or restart your PC you'll see an instant increase in FPS it will also help you to reduce the ping if you're having any high ping issue so now let's move on to the fourth step so for the next step you have to download and install a application called process lasso I've given the link in the description once you download and install it, you have to open the Valorant game and just minimize it. After that, you have to just scroll down and find this uh, file that is Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. So you have to make some changes here. Just right click on it and go to the priority class and uh, go to always and you have to keep this priority to high. And even on current, you have to keep this high. So this is the first thing that you have to do. And the second thing that you have to do is uh, go to CPU affinity, then go to current and you have to unmark this so this must not be checked basically cpu 0 must not be checked do the same thing with this always also again click on always just scroll down and you have to unmark this once you do this uh, just keep it like this and you restart the game you will see a huge increase in fps the last and the final step that i would like to give you to increase your fps is make sure to update your game driver many people forget to do that so if you have not done this just open your geforce experience application uh, click on drivers and click here check for updates so if it's already updated you will get this message you have the latest geforce game ready driver if you do not have just update it install it and restart your game there will be huge fps increase so make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell notification for more similar gaming contents in our channel we also upload regular free gaming and discounted gaming content so do not forget to subscribe to this channel and if you subscribe make sure to press the bell notification thanks for watching take care bye bye and have a nice day